Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. In this tutorial, we will talk about how we can work in narrow camera shots and some type of very thin camera renders. So in this project, which I downloaded from the uh, 3dwayhouse.com, you can see that we have this house in here, but we can't take a landscape render because it's not really good for this type of projects. So how we can fix out our camera and shot for better rendering. Before we start this tutorial, subscribe to SketchUp Arc Studio and let's get to work. First of all, I need to press F on my keyboard and now I can click on the uh, create view in here, unlink my visual preset because I don't have any necessary preset for this render. You can rename your camera shot name by here, but it's not really important. You can add it to your favorite. So we don't want to talk about these options in here, but we want to talk about how we can fix out camera for these type of projects. So I'm going to orbit my camera shot in some angle like this, something like that, for example, to see some useful details of this building and go a little bit to the backside. Something like that can be really good. So first of all, I need to click on the visual setting, go to the output, click on the resolution and change it to the custom mode. So it's on the 920 1080p. So if I turn on the safe frame in the background, you can see we can see this safe frame in here, which is activated for us. So if I change this numbers, for example, 1080 to the uh, 1600, Something like that will happen and this is the uh, resolution that we have for this render. So click on the projection, change it on the two point perspective and now you can make your render more professional than the other times. So first of all, I need to click on the visual setting. Before I accept my camera setting in the left side, I need to reduce the field of view as I can to see what really happened inside of my project. So you need to test out all the setting which is necessary for your render. 36 degree horizontal can be really good for this job. So I'm gonna change it to the white mode and now everything is fine for me. So time for adjusting my camera more professional. Pitch is the uh, angle of your shot. If I look to the upstairs and the sky, the pitch will be increased for me. And if I look straight, the pitch will be get near to zero. So try to manage it in some number between 15 and 20. In most projects, it can be really helpful. I try to use 18 in here. If it's not uh, action done by this work, you need to click on the create option, click on the edit mode. And in here, another time, you can reset your pitch option very simple and easy. Yeah, is about 342 in here. Everything is fine. I need to reduce the Y as the I height. So 1.6 can be really acceptable in here. X is not really important. And Z is about negative 2.7. So I will move this scroll to the downside. Now I'm on the white mode in here and you can see some white glue render in the area. So if I play with the sun position, which is about azimuth and altitude, you can see what truly really happened and I can create some more realistic shadows or sun rays on my facade design. So it completely depends on you and how you want to use it. I think some type of angle like that can be really interesting for my render because I need to make some good shots for the uh, client or project manager, which helps him or her to imagine what really happened inside of my projects. So it's about azimuth and altitude is the time of the day. So try to use some number like, for example, near to the morning, for example, something like that. Not bad, but it can be better. So six degrees enough for it. Click on the uh, save option and skip scene number one generated for you. So click on the visual setting before I make it out from the white mode to the non mode. I need to hold it on the white mode to see what will happen. First of all, outline. If I increase the outline, you can see we will have some outlines like the uh, hand sketch rendering and it can be interesting for some special projects, not all of the projects. I don't suggest it for all projects. 4% is enough for it. I need to increase the exposure. Try to 
use auto exposure in most of your projects in here I think 58 can be good field of view is okay the pop field can be increased and you can see what really happened this part of your job will be get to the flow mode so try to turn off the autofocus play with the focal point and reach to your main destination I want to focus on the facade design 16.20 is enough the path field is about 9 or maybe 11 rendering quality can be increased to the ultra if you use low config systems you can use medium or, or high render but uh, it's really hard work because you need to adjust some artificial lights to optimize your screen next item is the image bar click on the image bar and turn on the auto contrast and you can see what will happen some part of which related to the highlights and burnings will be get more brighter so come back to the main bar and reduce exposure to the 56 or 54 image bar in here saturation and color temperature is okay so i'm going to come back to the main bar and this time i will switch back to the rgb mode so this is the final thing that we have in here click on the image bar try to reduce bloom option because you need some sharp render not artistic render so lens flare is about 34 percent vignette can be decreased because it's dark enough so atmosphere can be increased i don't need any type of fog for my screen some brightness is okay but you can reduce it and control it on some good number for example like 72 wind intensity and some other things are not really useful in this type of renders and final thing is about shadow sharpness i want to use some sharp shadows because it's near to the morning and you can see sharp shadows near to the morning in the real world so click on the skybox in here and you have cloud setting first of all my source is white cubes it can effective on your gi calculation system density is about zero variety is about zero and size amount is zero so this is my final shot in here and i'm going to click on the screenshot in this place move it to this part of my job i will save it on the pictures name is not really important and press save as you can see it takes a bit time and enscape will generate this portrait rendering for you so you learn how to change your resolution completely optimized with your project i hope you enjoyed this video guys if this tutorial is useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel thanks for your time thanks for watching and goodbye